And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming. One little hair, and then I, I plucked it out. Oh, well, Daddy's Aunt Bert was completely gray by the time she was 30. Aunt Bert? She got a little fish when she was 35? I hope I got Mama's jeans. Shoot. What y'all getting? Um, the Chinese chicken salad. You've had that here, haven't you, T? Mm hmm That's very good. You know, Daddy's family had all kinds of bad luck, didn't they? See, have you heard anything from the insurance company about the fire? No. Well, why are they stalling? You called them, right? Yeah, three times a week. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some water. There you go. Harry. Hey. Are you okay? I just have a lot on my mind. You know. She's having a panic attack. Oh, well, well, then we should go. We don't have to stay here. I can cook us something at home. No, I can handle this. Why don't we go to the lake? Okay. Yeah, okay. let's just go. Maxine. Yeah, I got it. Okay, come on, just keep it. Oh, oh. Can I help? Um, uh, Harry? I don't know. <laughs> just breathe. Don't worry, don't worry about it. I have asthma. You can't breathe, right? Well, you stop trying. Just, just hold your breath and keep on holding. That's good. Now, let it all the way out through your mouth. But this, this moment will pass, so don't try to fight it. Now, just... Inhale slowly, slowly through your nose, all the way down through your chest, down to your diaphragm. Good, good. Now exhale, exhale slowly through your nose. Good, good. It's all right. Hi, baby. You all right? Okay. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm okay. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, are you are you a doctor? Uh, psychologist. My card. Thank you very much for helping us out. Hey, no problem. Maybe you should check it out. Are you uh, feeling better? Yes, sir. Thank you. Please take me okay, come on, let's go. Let's go. No, come on, relax. All right, let's relax. Nice try. Well, your ride's just better than mine. Maybe I'm just a better driver. Man, please, I've whipped your butt in every race. No, you haven't. You ever think about girls? Huh? It's no big deal. You can tell me if you do. Dad warned me about these kind of questions. There's no right answers. I think about you. I mean other girls besides me. Models are singers. You ever think about them or how they look? I won't be mad if you do. Um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so you fantasize about other girls? That means subconsciously you don't want to be with me. Subconsciously? Keisha, look, I don't fantasize about... It's okay. I'm cool about it. I appreciate your honesty. I haven't said anything. Since you'd rather be with another girl, I think we should break up. Then you can be with her. Who? 
whoever. doing? Leaving you a note. Oh, well, you couldn't just leave a message on Gloria's desk? I didn't think about it. What can I do for you, Damon? I was trying to give you a heads up. Mara's going to ask you to consult on an endorsement deal I'm working on with Kevin Tucker. Oh, well, there's no need to leave a note. Just set up an appointment with Gloria. Thanks. Okay. Um, when I was leaving the note, uh, your list of therapists sort of jumped out at me. <clears throat> it did, did it? Yeah, well, if you have a hard time finding someone, I can give you the name of the person I used to see. Thank you, Damon. But I have this under control. And it makes me a bit uncomfortable to know that you were going through my things. I apologize. Gee, I, it wasn't intentional. Nothing with you ever is. Oh, uh, sorry. I was... Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. He was just leaving. <laughs> Actually, I was just escaping. I suggest you do the same. I will trade you these. These and uh, could you check out this Dr. Pruitt for me? Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Hatter. Yep. Hatter. Hatter. Oh, we gotta get me some of that. Man, you sick? Yeah. <laughs> That's Samantha and the baby. Oh, beautiful, man. You know, she can have ten more as long as her rack stays out there like that. It's like the titty fairy paid us a sweet visit, man. <laughs> David, these things are they're fucking huge. <laughs> All right. This is the new marketing plan to raise your profile. I hope that's a fancy way of you saying you're getting me more money. Something like that. Look, I've been on these people at Oxywater night and day, and they finally realize you're the right guy to endorse their product. We're still working out the terms, hoping to get something solid by the time we meet with the executive. Uh, great, man. Because they've been dicking me around forever. No, they're not dicking you around. They're businessmen. It's got to be right on paper. But it's going to happen. See, now that's what I'm talking about, Dave. I'm so glad you're my agent. We're on a roll now, hey, baby. We're gone. Let's keep it going. Hey, I'm with you. I'm so with you, man. Oh, can you come to that press party with me on Thursday? I can't. But don't forget to go over those publicity questions I gave you. I got all my answers memorized. Convince me over dinner? Let's do it. You're buying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you get that solenoid checked out? Yeah, sparks right up now. All right, cool. We need you to work Sunday. Oh, well, if you don't, you got plans or something, you know. No, no plans. What's up with overtime pay? Over what? I, I can't work for the same money anymore, Kenny. <laughs> All of a sudden, huh? Well, I don't think I'm asking for too much. I mean, I I've been here since the beginning, sweating right alongside you. But I can't do any more Sundays without overtime. You know, Sundays have never been overtime. Time for that to change. Look, all the other changes happening around here. I'll get somebody else to do it. Dr. Hewitt, nice to see you. No, 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 Jackson. I hate the artificial divide created when I address you by your first name and you address me with the referential doctor. Yeah, I understand that. I, I get to just be Terry, you get to be Dr. Pruitt. Now are we supposed to feel comfortable, you know, like equals? Well, exactly, exactly. Which is why I always hold my first sessions in the park. Neutral territory. <clears throat> well, let's see. PhD from UCLA. Served two years in Columbia with the Peace Corps. Speech writer for the president for two years. Uh, Sub-chair for the National Think Tank Symposium. Well, what, are you surprised I checked you out? Well, anyone who'd lie about having an asthma attack rather than admit you're suffering from a 